family tonight. Some things are just meant to be. CBS's Steve Hartman has the story of a special delivery brought about by kindness. Here's tonight's On the Road. At this secondhand store in Baltimore, we found a first-rate fish story. Last week, someone posted a picture of this bizarre chair on a Facebook page called Weird Secondhand Finds That Just Need to Be Shared. And when Syracuse auto mechanic Emily Del Favaro saw that chair, she about had a cow because of what's on her calf. And here's the truly amazing part. Emily never owned the chair. She just saw it once years ago and felt strangely compelled to have it tattooed. That's the fate about it. I saw that chair and it was everything for me. You make it seem almost mystical. I believe that it is. Almost like you have to get the tattoo and you don't know why. Exactly. But answers were coming. After she posted a picture of her tattoo on that Facebook page, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> hundreds of women in the group felt a call to action. It belonged to her. You felt like Emily had to have this chair. A chair like that and a tattoo that matches, it's kismet. Like, it's serendipity. It just has to happen. So, even though none of these women had ever met, they started a GoFundMe, raised $600 to buy the chair for this total stranger, and then devised a plan to personally deliver it. Perfect fit. First, Jen Gerard picked it up in Baltimore, drove it to Meredith, who drove it to Marianne, and so on, up Interstate 81, more than 300 miles. Sarah Edwards carried the precious cargo on its last leg. It is very similar to driving my children home from the hospital the first day they were born. Um, nervousness, excitement. I can't even comprehend why anybody would want to do something like this for me. It's a legitimate question. And it very quickly was not about a chair anymore. It gave me something that I needed and I didn't know I needed. I think a lot of people are looking for ways to connect and looking for any excuse to connect. And if it's a fish chair, it's a fish chair. That's for me. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> Clearly, kindness can take many forms. I mean, we're, we're a fellowship. We're a fellowship of the fish chair. <laughs> but the best kind of kindness is always that random act. Oh, my God. That somehow makes people believe again. Ah. Uh... I did not need the chair, but I did need to be reminded that kindness lurks in even the weirdest little places. All we need to do is fish for it. Sarah, you did great. Steve Hartman, on the road in Syracuse, New York.